What is going on people of the YouTubes? This is Peter or the Black Art Soul and today we are going to do a review on the KH2002. And first I just want to tell you guys, I'm I'm kind of sorry if my voice kind of sounds a little bit different cuz I'm I'm kind of with my my nose kind of plugged up or something. I don't know. Um yeah. So, this weapon fires at a rate of 800 RPM. So it is kind of a pretty fast weapon to shoot. And uh, it has a muzzle velocity of 650 meters per second. This weapon has a burst and single shot firing mode. And uh, I will already recommend you to actually switch between the two of them. I, I, I keep doing that with this weapon. I, I, it seems to work the best. Because like when I'm when I'm trying to, to hit some, some long range shooting. I actually just, just switch to the single shot firing mode. And I, I just use it because it, it gets a lot more accurate than, than using the burst one. That, that will probably actually make you fail when you're actually trying to make a long shot fire fire a long shot kill I mean idiot the max damage on this weapon is 25 and the minimum damage is 18.4 which is actually pretty standard loads of weapons have that kind of damage and that means that you can actually kill people with around four to five body shots the g3a3 starts to drop damage at eight meters which is actually pretty standard too and it starts dropping damage at 50 meters which is actually kind of different than usual it's not much but th the usual being 60 meters it's 10 meters less this weapon takes about two seconds to reload and has a 30 round capacity mag nothing too fancy there nothing special this weapon's recoil is actually not very predictable when you use it in burst mode but when you actually ha have the foregrip on it it kind of helps you out a little bit because the foregrip will help will help you with this weapon's side recoil because it, this weapon actually has more side recoil than vertical recoil which actually is kind of weird because it makes the recoil a little bit unpredictable like I said before and it, it, it just makes the weapon feel kind of weird at least for me and uh, yeah the hip firing spread is kind of on the medium class I wouldn't say it's good but I also would not say it's bad you can't really hip fire from like big distances and when I say big of course quote unquote big means not like you hip fire from like short if it's not like you hip fire from medium or, or long range I'm, when I say big distances is always short range but a few more meters than normal but you will actually still come on top even if you hip fire a board in like three to five meters even if you hip fire um, like around like eight meters if I'm not mistaken you can still hip fire and most of the times you will still come on top sometimes you will lose because your enemy has like a full auto and he just mows you down um, this weapon is actually mostly effective on the medium to long range just like the G3A3 at short range it is not very good most of the time your enemy will actually win that gunfight because even with those 800 RPMs you still have the factor that you have you still have the fact that you have to spam it to throw bullets as fast as you can but your enemy just has if your enemy has a full auto weapon he will probably win most of those gunfights because he just holds his mouse button and he totally mows you down because it's just a lot more easy to actually control your hip fire and to actually hip fire to properly hit fire with a with a full auto gun it's a lot easier uh, my attachment recommendations for this weapon are to use a foregrip to correct the side recoil that it has and the suppressor. The suppressor works most of the times pretty good. I didn't manage to actually try out the flesh suppressor because I do not like this weapon and I got and I wasn't liking to play with it. I I, I mainly just play with it. I played with it for around like like 40 minutes or something to unlock some stuff to make the video and. Um, also to to actually just just have some footage for the video because I do not really like this weapon I, I never use it because I don't like it <laughs> and um, yeah the <laughs> I'd never tried out the flash suppressor because I didn't got to unlock it but it, it might also work pretty good because it, it might drop downgrade your recoil a little bit but I do not recommend the heavy barrel because it, of course it makes your weapon have more vertical recoil and since this weapon is a burst firing weapon it's not that easy to control your vertical recoil 
because if you have the heavy barrel the the weapon will will go a lot more up in between bursts that will not help you um yeah the, the about the sights uh, i i always use the um, I, I i started by using the iron sights and, and then i unlocked the cobra and i always use the cobra it seemed to work pretty good for me but try out some weird sights i know you guys like to to do that and just just try out some weird stuff sometimes it actually works pretty good for you uh, the secondary weapons I recommend well it kind of depends on your style but just I just went with something that I felt comfortable but you can always try out the G18 and the 93R to compensate for the KH2002 uh, bad short range effectiveness because this weapon kind of sucks at short range like I said before so if you use one of those two weapons that throw out a lot of bullets pretty easily in short range then I guess you'll come on top pretty much on every gunfight just pull it out when you're uh, when you're when you know that you will have some short range gunfights and I think you'll be good so yeah guys this has been my weapon review of the G3 oh no not G3 what the hell G3 A3 was the other one uh, this has been my weapon review of the KH2002 sorry about that and if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a like and a nice comment below and subscribe to see more also if you can please share the video because that really helps out the channel Thank you guys for watching. I've been Peter or D Black Hearted Soul. Shooting out.